Okay, so today's a time challenge and it's a great one actually time challenge to see how you're increasing in your fitness because time challenge allows you to check on your personal best time. At the same time, it also allows you to see how you're feeling and if you're feeling like you're progressing that the exercises are feeling better. Now, it's only made up of two exercises, but it's a killer. So you're gonna do 10 push-ups, either with single leg or with two legs down or with knees down. And then you're going to do reverse burpee, heel lift, jump up and roll back. I'm gonna show you those two exercises for beginner and the normal process. And you're gonna do 10 of the push-ups and in between you're gonna do a round of 10, 12, 14, 12, and 10 of the reverse burpee, heel up, jump up. Okay, so it's gonna be great for your core. You could add some weight in the reverse burpee to give you an extra core burn if you want to. But it should be also very intense on your whole body working to create this movement. Don't forget to ring the bell and subscribe because I'll be adding every couple of days a new workout and you can add it to your list of workouts to do to keep fit at home, to keep to regain your fitness with the beginner and the advanced options. It's for everybody, for those that can't even go to the gym right now. And the great thing is it's free. So it gives you a chance to do things. Now, a lot of people say, you know, people are going through issues with health right now. How is this going to help? Well, if we build our strength and our health and our immune system, it helps us to fight things. It also helps us if we build our strength with our mindset, we also become stronger against issues. The problem is our health right now for many of us, and it's so important. As an asthmatic, I am a high risk in this virus. So it's very important for me to keep healthy because I have to look after my family, as well as I have to try and find ways to earn money on and to be able to manage myself as a person to keep remembering I'm not my depression, which I fought for a long time. So it's more important than ever to continue on. Now my motivation isn't what keeps me going, it's my habits, like cleaning the teeth, my habit. This habit is set that every day I put in a 20 minute spot or so to do a workout because I know that I'm paying it forward. I put in a slot for five minutes a day when I wake up, instead of hopping on my phone, I do a meditation for five minutes. And if I don't have time by the end of the day, I don't go on social media, I don't allow myself the average hours of social media, I will do my workout and my meditation before I do those things that are blessings in our life are not a uh, priority. It's a priority to have one's health more than anything in the world. And uh, there was a, a beautiful story of a man who was 93 and he beat the coronavirus. And he said, there's no bullets that are gonna beat me. He came from the world war and there's no virus that's gonna beat me. Strong mind. And Viktor Frankl said, if you cannot change your circumstances, you have to change yourself. And this is how we change ourselves to find more positive outlooks, to find better tomorrows, to work on the goals we can, even though there's so many things we can't, okay? So it's really important that we're working on our health, we're working on each other. We're shining light to show our future generation, what if this happened again? Look, you can still do things whilst you're at home. You are not limited. You, in fact, you have more possibilities in the Previous times when the world war occurred, they were going off to fight a war and die. They didn't have a phone to ring their parents. They didn't have food like we have or Netflix. So we're very blessed at the same time. So please remember that your real wealth is your health. If you have your health, it's possible to rebuild. It's possible to regrow. It's possible to make changes for the future. But if you don't have that, it's not. So the first option here is the normal push-up. Shoulders down, chest up, I'll come a little closer. Okay, elbows in or out, out is a little bit easier. Feet together, feet wider makes it easier. Lean over your shoulders a bit, coming down and coming up. You can come halfway down and up if you want. If you're a bit stronger, you can take one leg off and come down and come up. Swap legs, head in neutral position, spine is strong, come down and come up. And if you're not feeling it, start on your knees, come down and come up. So you're going to do 10 repetitions, okay? From there, you're going to go into your reverse burpee and you're starting off here with 10, 12, 14, 12, 10. You're going to lie down. From here, hands overhead. You're going to curl one up. 
going to come up into your heels, heel lift, and then jump up, coming down, coming back. Now, if you don't have that ability with your Achilles and flexibility, and you're struggling to get up, first thing you're struggling to get up, hands by your side, curl up as far as you can, and then pull yourself up underneath your thighs. If that's too difficult, because your legs are lifting, then use your elbows and nudge yourself up. From here, if you can't get up here, use your hands behind you and bring yourself up. If you can't heel tuck with balance, use your hands and heel tuck. And then come up, okay? So, these are the options. Time challenge. <clears throat> you, all you need is yourself and your mat. Let's get started. We have five rounds in total, so 50 push-ups will be done and lots and lots and lots of fun reverse burpees, about 60. <laughs> so let's do it. A really great full body workout. I'm gonna do the single leg push-ups today. One, two, head up, three, four, you can pause the video at any time, five, video, not video, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, Coming here, lying down, 10, 1, 2, I'm going to feel my calves after this, <laughs> 3, Getting the shakes. Round two, 10 push ups. Set yourself up, take your time, take a drink if you need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we have 12 of these lovely exercises combo. <laughs> of this lovely exercise combo. So remember, if it's too easy, add a weight and bring the weight into your chest, curl up, bring yourself up. It's going to be really hard when you do like this. So with the weight, put it down if you need to and curl up this way. So remember that it changes everything. Okay, two. Three. It's even getting harder for me to get up. Four. Five. Six. Halfway. Seven. double legs or knees if you need to at any time or up the ante. Ten. Alright, so this is 
14, and then we go to 12 and 10. So, ready? Make sure you're really working on the core here. And heel lift, and one. Heel lift, and two. Three. Doing 14 this time. So we've got now 10 to go. Four. Five. Six. Seven. This is great because it's also working on your mind because your mind might be getting bored now. So you've got to work and your mind is your battlefield. All right, 10 push-ups. Four, five, nice and strong. Six, seven, eight, head neutral. Nine, 10. All right, 12 of these beautiful, movements. <laughs> so I'll go from this way, a little different angle. Curling up. And one. Two. Three. So nine to go. Four, five, six, halfway, this is number seven, four to go now, eight, this is number nine. Two more, and last round, 11, 
intense workout for you. A nice simple workout for you. And now you can finish or go about your day knowing that you have done something for your health. So thank you for joining me. Love to hear how you're going with this. Um, I know that a lot of people ask how you get fit, how you get flexible. It's doing small show ups like this every day. My journey was not a 30 day program to build abs, to build handstands, to build flexibility. It was a girl starting with depression, with, a, with many other issues and just showing up. One meditation, or one minute a day or two or three, a workout, three, five, 10 minutes five days a week, seven years later, here I am. Not because it was perfect, not because I didn't have days I didn't eat healthy or didn't work out or didn't have days of challenge, but because for seven years, it was a lifestyle. And that lifestyle built me to here. So the key is not that someone has more time, not that someone is better than you. It's that someone built habits to work on the things they wanted to, and those habits then built them. And they did it as a lifestyle, not as a 30 day program. So remember, day in, day out. Day in, day out is our life. Day in, day out are the things we need to do to get the things we want to. So I hope you have a great day. Um, thank you always for joining me. Remember, if, this, if these workouts aren't working for you, there's so many amazing souls here. So go and check them out. Brilliant people that are providing their time for free to give you free workouts. And as a personal trainer, you know, on average, a personal trainer can be valued from anywhere between $20 for half an hour to an hour to a couple of hundred, depending. And there's some amazing trainers here, all for free, for you. And there's so many amazing results for people who are showing up with these workouts. So you can too, just as long as you show up. Don't forget to ring the bell and subscribe. Namaste.